So we're going to start out with identities and this is a long section 10.4. So I'm going to break this into pieces. And first we're going to start talking about uh, what is an identity. So you've seen equations before. Uh, an identity is an equation. So of course equations are any time you have two expressions with an equal sign. So something really simple, x equals five. We've seen that before. That just means the value of x is five. Uh, but this equation is different. There's another type of equation called an identity. And we'll call this identity equation. These identities, we're gonna get lazy and just call them, I, well, this changed the way the word spelled, but we're just gonna call them identities. And here is an easy example of an identity. Uh, let's do uh, x squared minus four equals x minus two times x plus two. All right. Does it matter what value x is? If x is zero, you get minus four on the left, zero squared minus four. If f is uh, x is zero on the right, you have zero times negative two times positive two, which is also minus four. Turns out this equation is true for all x values. So what separates identity equations from regular equations is they're true for all variable values. So here our variable is x. Uh, many equations, we're gonna have a theta is gonna be our variable. And plenty other times we'll use other uh, variables. So this is just a flashback to uh, conjugate factoring, uh, also known as difference of squares. A lot of places you'll see it written like that. X squared minus two squares, difference of squares, also known as conjugates. Um, so diff of squares, difference of squares, also known as conjugates. There's difference of cubes um, and difference of actually uh, n power, uh, any positive integer, but we're not gonna get into that in this quarter. So, oh, we got another identity that is an actual trig identity. And of course, uh, I'm not gonna keep writing out identities. We're going to abbreviate with IDS. So these are trig identities. These are ones you've already seen O squared plus sine squared equals one, and our tangent squared theta plus one equals sec squared theta. Also, cotan squared theta plus one cosecant squared theta. All right, so these are things you should have known already from the previous section, so I'm gonna put a bubble around these. So you need to have these already memorized. And again, if you can memorize the first two, then the last one, you just co the tangent and secant to get to the third one. So you really only have to memorize two of these and you kind of get a third one for free. So these are identities you've already seen before. It doesn't matter the value of theta right here. Um, We'll look at, uh, let's look at the tangent squared for a minute. So we talked about domain a little bit before. I'm gonna write this out as the, uh, using the reciprocals. So secant squared is one over cos squared theta. Tangent squared is sine squared theta over cos squared theta. All right, so this is the, uh, identity written out in uh, fraction form or in terms of sines and cosines. And if you look here, when does cos theta equal zero? Uh, 
probably the easiest one. We'll just go with pi over two. There are other answers. Um, anytime we look at the unit circle, anytime your x-coordinate is zero, you will uh, have cosine value of zero. Uh, so when theta is pi over two, what happens here? Just rewrite. Now it's an identity, should be true for all va uh, variable values. So definitely should be true for pi over two. Why did I pick pi over two? That should make you nervous. The reason I picked it and the reason you should be nervous because these right here are, well, it's cosine squared, cos theta equals zero. That means cos theta squared is also zero. So we have, and of course sine squared, sine pi over two is one. So we're gonna have one over zero plus one equals one over zero. All right, what are we looking at here? Well, immediately, what we're looking at is undefined. Now, undefined plus one, is still undefined. So that plus one doesn't tell you anything useful. And the right side, also undefined. So what you get is both sides are undefined. So uh, you could say the equation is still true even for uh, times where the sides are undefined. So if one side is undefined, the other side is going to be undefined as well. So again, these are identities we saw before. Uh, even when in these two, the last two equations you can get undefined, even when you get undefined, both sides will be undefined at the same time. So they are what we call identities. Uh, there is a special name for this first equation. It's called a conditional. And let's see if I can do something fancy. There we go. Jump back. All right, so this conditional equation is when different variables make the equation true or not true. So it's uh, conditional, it's true under certain conditions. For example, when x equals five, this equation is true. If x equals four, this equation is false. Uh, we generally treat conditional equations as assigning a variable a certain value. All right, so those are how identities work. Let's write down, we wrote down some review of, uh, these are called Pythagorean. Let's write down the rest now. So we have, so I'll label all these Pythagorean. Let's give this. Pythagorean, all right, next group, we have the, let's go with the uh, quotient. And let's try to be consistent. I'll write that down here. So I'm going to mix quotients and reciprocals together. Uh, we'll go with, let's go with cosecant first. So, or we'll go with cosine first. One over, ooh, not what I want. One over cosine. Secant one over sine, cosecant one over secant cosecant cotangent. Try to get that one in here next. Cos over sine. All right, so those are the quotient identities right there and the reciprocals. Uh, you can flip these around again. <clears throat> so I could write uh, cos theta equals one over secant theta. The problem is uh, these equations are exactly the same right here. And uh, it would be redundant to write them both down. So we're just gonna pick one and the one we're gonna pick is the one I wrote on the left right there. So these equations are the same. Later on I will compare equations most likely and I'll use a triple equal sign to say the same equation. 
Uh, we won't have to do that yet though. So we got two separate equations that tell you the same exact information. So we're just gonna keep one of them. So one over cos, one over sine, sine over cos, and I think that's all we need here. Well, better keep the definition of tangent. I think that's all we need right here. So those, and then we got even odd. These are not necessarily easy to memorize, but easy to write down. There's six of them exactly, one for each function. So we'll go for the weird even functions first. So cos negative theta equals cos regular theta and reciprocal is secant negative theta equals C cant regular theta. All right, so those are the evens, the odds, all the other ones. Sine negative theta, negative sine theta, reciprocal cosecant negative theta, negative cosecant theta, and tangent negative theta, negative tan theta, and cotangent negative theta, negative co. Didn't use parentheses on the others. All right, so it's evens, the rare even function and or functions and then all four odd functions. So we're gonna use these identities to prove more complicated ones. So we're gonna use these to prove or to show uh, more complicated identities. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start with a, a few problems that are simplify. Uh, simplify is a slightly dangerous instruction because the destination is unclear. Uh, what exactly is a more simplified form or, or the simplest form? There may be different versions of simple forms, uh, but I think these examples hopefully should be pretty clear what is the most simple form. Uh, there will be a few web work problems like this uh, the problems I will put on your uh, midterm, well, there'll probably only be one problem out of this section, is going to be a prove the identity, which we will get into those. Uh, that'll be the main type of example problem we'll do in this section. Uh, and it will come up in the next.